In the following videos, we'll be creating our 3D platformer game. But before we jump into coding and building and using Unity, there is a concept that I want to cover, and it is something that we should be doing before writing a single line of code in our game, which is a game design document. Game design documents are used all over the game industry, from big studios to indie developers, and what they are is a very short document that describes the main concept of your game. And there's not a single template for this sort of document, so it really depends on the scale of the project and whether it's something for, just for yourself or you're working with contractors, with a team or um, in a large organization. But some things in general that you should include have to do with the concept of your game, what is what your game is about, what the main gameplay or game mechanic is, and also describe some of the, the assets that you will be needing. There is a, a very good article in that link, which is uh, an article in Gamma Sutra that describes the anatomy of a game design document. But in my opinion, that is more for the corporate world, but it's still interesting to read and can give you some things, depending if, if, if that is your case, it might be very useful, but in a smaller scale, you want to do something a little bit simpler. And again, there's not a single way of doing it. So what I'll do now is just the sort of document that work uh, well in my in my case. Um, so I've already created uh, a template for our document. the The main concept of our game is uh, is going to be a 3D platformer game, kind of like Mario, where you run around collecting coins, avoiding enemies, and you have to reach the goal in each level. So our game will be built for desktop, uh, which includes Windows, Mac, and you can build for Linux as well. So Unity allows you to build for all the different desktop platforms very easily. And now I'm going to describe a little bit more of the concept, but not using words, but using sketches, which is what really works well for me. And the, the level of detail of the sketches will depend, obviously, whether you are sharing this with someone else, with contractors or a team, or it's just for you. So. My, my concept, what I have in mind, is having very small levels that are kind of like platforms that are just floating in this, in this space. And in, that, in those platforms, there are, there's a player which is gonna, gonna be like a cube with, with a face. So that will be our player. And forgive me for my horrible cubes and bad lines. So the player will move around, will, it will be jumping, and it will be collecting coins, which will uh, be your score. So you're gonna see your score up here, and it's gonna show you how many coins you've collected. Um, it's not just gonna be flat like that, but there will be platforms that you can jump into, and in each each level is gonna have a goal eventually, which will be like a portal, like a sphere. Levels are also gonna have enemies, and these are gonna be badass enemies that move up and down. They just move up and down, that's all they do. So they have a certain range and they move up and down. So you have to avoid them so that they don't they don't crash you. Um, you you will lose if you run into an enemy or if you fall off, then you you lose. It's game over. And there will be levels that are sort of like this, and other levels can have multiple platforms like that. And the camera, the camera will um, will follow the player as the player moves within the level. So the player can move in this direction and the camera will follow. You can also extend the game to make it so the camera follows you in any direction. And there will be all sorts of platforms with enemies and, and lots of coins. So this, I think, is enough to give us an idea of what this game will be about. And what I'm going to do next is just um, copy this, this thing into my document so you can use whatever uh, clipboard or paint or anything to, to just grab the image and, and then put it in here because these things need to have sketches and images and obviously if this is a more if you need to communicate this with something someone else you might want to do something better although I usually work with very simple images with uh, with my team so this this can do and then I can I can describe my game more if I want some of the game mechanics that we mentioned include player, well, the player will be controlled with the arrow keys and there will be jumping. 
So those are, those are the only things the player can do. Game over if you run into enemies or fall off, um, which also brings me to, I can describe a little bit of the UI. So there will be a home screen, there will be a game over screen, and we're gonna be showing, uh, we're gonna collect coins and show the score. And I also want to have a high score in my game over screen. Uh, it is obviously multi-level, so you find you find a goal and move on to the next level. And we are going to play a sound when collecting coins. Sound for coin collection. I think this describes uh, the main thing. Uh, enemies will move up and down, and there will be platforms on different heights that you can jump into. So. As you can see, this is a very, very simple description of the, of the concept of the game, but it already gives me a starting point, and these documents are usually updated as well as the game makes progress. Now, what assets are we going to need? We are going to need some models. So we are going to need a model, a model for the player. So I'm going to write subtitle models. We're going to need a model for the player, for the enemies, probably something for the terrain. And I'm going to write the coins and the gold, but in reality, we will be using Unity's primitive shapes for this. But it, that is something that you can decide as you go. So initially, it was a requirement to have a model for those things. Also, um, what about textures or images? Um, I will want to have some sort of rocks background that I can put in my, in my ground and also in the bottom of the game. Then I also want, what about audio? I want a coin sound, coin collection sound. I think that's all I want. And then for the UI, I want to have a cool pixel art font. And I also want a background for the game over screen and home screens. So I think that is all that we need. And in this manner, I, I can always add more things if, uh, if there's something that I didn't think of, I can add it later. And okay, so now we have a clear idea of what we need to build. And this can be easily, obviously, communicated with other people. The, the very next step, because some of these things might take time, you might be giving these model jobs to, to a contractor online or a friend of yours or someone else, or you have to do it yourself, but you also want to work on, say, the game mechanics. The, what you can do next is a prototype, and that's what we'll be doing in the next videos, which is when you are creating the game mechanics before you have the assets. So I wanted to do it that way in this course so that you could see, see that process and see how it is when we add the models later, which we will. All right, so that is the basic of game design document. And now I have an open-ended challenge for you, which, is, which means a challenge that you have to complete and that I'm not gonna be showing you because it's obviously it's your game idea. So what I would like you to do is to make a game design document of your game idea. And if you don't have a game idea, come up with one and it can be similar to existing games. And if you can't come up with one, just pick your favorite game and make a design game design document for that game so that you can mentally deconstruct how that game was built. And besides thinking of the finished game, I also want you to think of what would be the simplest possible implementation of your game idea. So if you wanna make a game that has all these classes of characters and enemies, could it work with just one type of character or one type of enemy? Could you implement that? Would that make it easier for you? Because the uh, a way to reach um, higher goals when it comes to projects is to make them into smaller chunks and then smaller chunks are much easier to work on and it'll take you maybe just a few days to, to, to do a simple prototype whereas the full game could take months because of all the assets. So I really want you to start getting into the mindset where you can work on your ideas with just the minimal elements. We're using default assets, using whatever comes in Unity or free things from the web just to get things going. And then you can make things more complex as you go, as you get some feedback from, from players or from, from friends or testers of your product. So that is all and I will see you in the next video.